Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Thank you so much for being with us. You know, the Feast of Tabernacles, we're now in the midst of that, okay? And uh, a lot of people wondering about the purpose of the seven feasts. Well, the seven feasts of the Lord are, of course, very important to the Lord. And it's a part of an everlasting covenant with the children of Israel. And, of course, even as a Christian, even if you're not Jewish like me, if you're a Gentile, we have, as wild olive branches, according to Apostle Paul, we've been grafted into the natural branch. Sometimes there's a misunderstanding that the Christians are their own branch and the Jews are the ones trying to be grafted in with us. It's, it's actually, if you study the Bible, it tells you we're grafted in. And how do we get grafted in? By the blood of Jesus Christ, the Messiah and the Savior of the world. Now, it's very important to understand the importance of, of giving your offering during the Feast of Tabernacles. First of all, it's the most, it's the last of the seven feasts. Uh, and it is also, there's three major offerings that should be given. And uh, it's in the scriptures and it tells us this. Let's go to Deuteronomy. And I want you to give from your heart. The Bible does tell us not to come empty handed. Don't let this feast period get by without giving your Feast of Tabernacle offering, is what the Lord is saying. And I want you to enjoy the blessing that comes with your giving. Here's what it says in Deuteronomy 16. Thou shalt observe the Feast of Tabernacles seven days. This is Deuteronomy 16, 13. Thou shalt observe the Feast of Tabernacles seven days after that thou hast gathered in thy corn and thy wheat. Now, and thou shalt rejoice in thy feast, thou and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservants, and thy maidservant, and the Levite, your priest, the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow that are within thy gates. Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto the Lord thy God. In the place which the Lord shall choose, because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy increase and in all the works of thy hands. Therefore, listen to that. All your in the Lord's going to bless you in your increase. In other words, He will bless the increase. You might be working as hard as you can and have and have actually accomplished some increase on your own. But he will bless the increase. Oh, somebody help me preach right here. And this is what I'm saying. For, for too long, the church has lost out on God's blessings because of, 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 the Bible says, because of a lack of knowledge, my people are destroyed or they don't receive. I want you to be blessed this year. I want you to be blessed this year. And here's what it says. Thou shalt surely rejoice, okay, in verse 16. This is Deuteronomy 16, 16. Three times a year shall all the males appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose in the feast of the unleavened bread, that's one, in the feast of weeks or Pentecost, that's two, and in the feast of tabernacles, that's three. And look at this. They shall not appear before the Lord empty. Don't come empty-handed. Instead, every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee. So don't come empty-handed. Don't skip out on giving your offering for the Feast of Tabernacles. And you should give what you are able to give, according to the blessing. Of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee. Ha what has the Lord done for you? Has the Lord blessed you? If you believe in his blessing, give accordingly. And that's why you're to bring your best gift. Now, if you want to go to our website and give, I want you to do that. You can, as you give, you can even put in there tabernacle offering and even a prayer request. Because Sunday night, this coming Sunday night, we are going to bless the Feast of Tabernacle Offerings that have been coming in the last few days and will probably still be coming in during this Feast of Tabernacles. So we're going to have a special corporate 
blessing and anointing upon the Feast of Tabernacle offerings. And of course, ladies, because it says males and you're a lady, you say, well, I don't, I don't uh, what am I supposed to do? Obviously, it's for all of us. And what this is just how the Lord would speak in, uh, you know, ancient Hebrew, meaning the household. OK, so in other words, the head of the household in, in, in a lot of cases, that's a, it's a, maybe a, a single mother or an, uh, an elder lady. But he's talking about every one of us, all of us to be faithful in this Feast of Tabernacles. This is, there is a blessing on this. God said, I'm going to bless your increase. So you know you're going to be increased. He didn't, and he's going to bless that. It's like a double blessing. And so this is the last feast offering of the year, a very important one. Obey God. Now, some of you may want to write on your little prayer request, you have a son or a daughter or somebody who needs to be saved. You're believing God for it. Maybe somebody needs a miracle healing. Maybe you need to be touched. Maybe it's your business needs to prosper. It's been a difficult year for some small businesses uh, out there. And you're, you're looking for God's anointing. And uh, believe me, the Bible says that it, it's, it's, the, it's the Lord that, have, that gives you power to uh, receive wealth. Another scripture says the Lord would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So God is really wanting to bless you going in and going out. He wants to make you the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Blessed going in, blessed going out, blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in the fruit of your body. He wants you to be blessed in your storehouse and in your basket. God wants to bless everything you're doing. As a matter of fact, David said, blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, uh, nor standeth in the way, okay? But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, he meditates on day and night. He lives by it, in other words. He's like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He shall not move. His leaves won't wither. He will bear fruit in his season. And whatever he puts his hands to shall prosper. And then God's blessing, as you give your Feast of Tabernacle offering, know that God is going to bless your increase. God bless all of you. Again, we'll have a special prayer on this Sunday night. If you're going to give, give now. Give right now. Go to our website at paulbegleyprophecy.com and give. You can also text give if you want to do that. Or you can write us uh, and at uh, Paul Begley Prophecy. 1048-B, Sagamore Parkway West, Box 33, Box 33, West Lafayette, Indiana, 47906. Or you can call in your offering at 765-414-6, uh, let's see, 765-414-2230. I'm sorry about that. That's 765-414-2230. God will bless you in every area of your life. Thank you for serving Jesus Christ. Let's go get the lost to Christ. We're running out of time.